Hi, I'm Liam, a product marketer at Verkata. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the various camera settings options. From the camera's homepage, I'm going to choose the front entrance camera and select the settings wheel. In the general section, I can change the site where the camera is located, the naming of the camera, and the physical location. If I change the physical location, the time will be adjusted to the corresponding time zone. Below that, I can view key details about the camera, including the model, the days of extended cloud storage, the earliest available video, and I can even validate if the firmware is up to date. In the device section, I can adjust the orientation of the camera depending on how it is physically mounted to a given surface. I can also toggle on low bandwidth mode to reduce the bandwidth consumed by the camera if it is installed on a constrained network running other critical applications, such as point of sale applications. Likewise, I can toggle on real-time streaming protocol to stream video to third-party software or multimedia players. I also have options to set how autofocus will balance across the field of view. And in some cases, during installation, you may need to identify a camera, and in that case, simply select Identify, and the LED status light will illuminate on the camera. Lastly, you can adjust the camera's retention by adjusting the slider to meet your needs. In the Events section, I can toggle on Motion Events, which will allow me to quickly see relevant footage based on motion. I can also enable filters on people and vehicles and set the confidence level. If I would like to narrow the motion events that populate, I can select a portion of the field of view and highlight only the area near this door. By doing that, I am able to filter out events that happen outside this area. I can also select when events will populate. Since I'm in the office from 6.30 to 5.30 p.m., I only want to know if someone is outside the door during these hours, so I will set this accordingly. I can also select when events will populate over the weekend when I am not at the office. Crowd events allow you to select the minimum number of people or vehicles to generate an event. In this case, an event will generate when five or more people or vehicles are detected in front of this camera. I will also select tamper events. This will inform me when someone is disturbing the camera. I will set the sensitivity to low because we are located near train tracks and therefore the vibration can disturb the camera and falsely cause a tamper event. You can adjust the setting to fit your needs. In the privacy section, you can select where your camera and image data is located. I'll keep it as the default, the US. I can also configure privacy regions, which allows me to block out a portion of the camera's view. This is great in cases where you might have sensitive information on a patient health monitor or on a computer monitor. In the analytics section, I have enabled people history, person attributes, and face detection, as well as occupancy trends. This allows me to filter through footage based on people, faces, or clothing color. I also get count estimates based off who enters or exits the building where I've established digital lines. I can also enable vehicle history. By default, these analytics are turned off. Therefore, as a customer, you need to go into settings and toggle these settings on to leverage these capabilities. Lastly, I will enable cloud backup. Here I have the option to select what video events I want to upload to the cloud, and I'll choose all video in HD quality. The next section allows me to select specific days and timeframes of footage I want stored in the cloud. In this case, I want to back up my footage 24-7 so all days will be selected, and the time frame will be from midnight to 11.59 p.m. There is also the option to schedule when the footage is uploaded, so I will select 11 p.m. to 4 a.m., which is when the least amount of users are on my network. To learn more about camera settings, please visit help.vercata.com.